So thank you for sitting down with me. Absolutely. Thank you. And also just to encourage you, last year was a wild success. What's your hope for this year? The theme of abide or abiding. It started with this kind of this concept of um, being settled. How are we settled? Like it just feels like we've still been in this time and space of a lot of chaos, a lot of things going around. Yeah, definitely. And in and in reality, that's kind of life. It's not just yeah. the era we're in. That's life, um, and just coming to that. But it does feel different, doesn't it? it Somehow it, it feels does. compounded, whether that's real or imagined. It does, or it's, there's more voice to it. There's more emotional connection to that that yeah. is being widespread, and that concept of being settled in Christ when all this is chaos, yeah. all this chaos is going on. Um, and as I was um, thinking through a little bit, at, like after last night, just thinking of that picture of um, like a solid rock mm. in the middle of an ocean when there's a storm coming, kind of like a lighthouse. You would see a lighthouse. And that concept of abide as an action verb so meaning to stay or remain mm, right yeah. so we're abiding in christ and so staying as if he is our rock how do we like adhere ourselves to that rock yeah, yeah. in the midst of this storm that's happening um mm -hmm. and so that is where i mean am i oh yes like that is where mm. some of these other ideas and so the cliffhanger is you have to come to the retreat oh yeah 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 we're not giving away the farm figure out how you do these things. <laughs> you know, I brought the idea of this settled, feeling unsettled, and we were trying to find the correct verbiage on how to title this retreat, which we have abiding in God's peace. But it took us a while to get there because we didn't want to use any buzzwords. We didn't want to have any. So there is a sensitivity for mm -hmm. sure. Um, cause we want to, this is open to everyone, all the women over 18, you know? Yeah. Um, also there is, I think there's a comfort level for women. First of all, the accommodations, it's not like we, we can't be like going camping. Some women would like that. Me personally, <laughs> no, but you know, just having good accommodations, um, you know, adequate accommodations, um, right. a food, food right. that is tasty, you know, yes. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. different, just having different activities, different things that will appeal to most women or we have something for everyone. Yeah. We have to be sensitive and make sure that everyone will be comfortable. Everyone will have something that they enjoy. I know I was intimidated my first time. I know others are, mm. have been too. others have already talked to me and, and asked me questions that they haven't been. And they're thinking about going, but it can challenge them that, you know, they can get practical applications from, it can speak to everyone, uh, but also have that time a way to refresh, have fun connecting with other women. Yeah. So there's two, two sides yeah. to so the So the Saltern, the Saltern of fun that is on the job, mm -hmm. the Saltern of fun. Are you comfortable with that moniker? I, I love it. Yeah. Or I, I've heard it said many ways, but I, I like that one. <laughs> I mean, I like to have fun. Yeah. And, and like the arsenal fun. of games, <laughs> yeah. deep oh, yes. well. I will be bringing my games. There right. will be games. Will right. Will be. <laughs> you're not just good at the games. You're good at the, and this is me. You're describing, I'm describing me. You're good at the guy who doesn't want to play the game. I mean, that is a, a genuine um, feeling. I mean, I was not thrilled to go to the first retreat. It was one of those things where you just feel like, this is what I sh should do. I got I some obligation to know here. Yeah. And how am I going to do it? If I don't put some effort in or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I have to, I have to be able to feel a little uncomfortable. And it was like, I think it's just an elephant in the room that right. it was a little uncomfortable, but then you get there and Janelle or. Yes. Somebody you know, that has gift things like that. Yes. And yeah. then there are Carries the water. other activities. So it's this mix of, um, growing together, um, as women, um, as you know, growing together, in a spiritual way, but also just like laughing. Having fun. Like, yeah. No, that's so true, Heather. And isn't that like true of a lot of the things that we experience in life? Like if you don't push past mm -hmm. your initial emotional reaction to it, you don't get to do a lot of great things in life. That's true here too. Mm -hmm. And it probably is intimidating, especially if you're new. I can't imagine how intimidating it is if you don't even know. So, okay, well, what do you say to that person? Mm -hmm. There'll be people that have been on every retreat that we've had in the past few years and there'll be people that have are, are brand new to the church and 
want to, mm-hmm. you know, get to know people and make those connections. And that's, yeah. I, I, Heather just shared, I shared that first retreat, just getting out of your comfort zone. And within, by the end of the first night, mm-hmm. you've made some connections already. And that uneasiness is gone. Yeah. I mean, really, it didn't, it didn't take me long. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I actually heard it said this. I liked this. One time I was interviewing this lady that goes to our church and she said, she went, she went from coming to church and literally getting a cup of coffee and like awkwardly like standing around and then leaving to not being able to have all the conversations she needed in the lobby before she left after one woman's retreat. I loved the way that was said because it's like um, an overwhelming bounty. Uh, And in one woman's retreat, she went from zero to 60, if you will. Cool. The first thing that that popped in my mind as you were talking about that is the... um, the concept of generations bridged. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I feel like I've been really privy to seeing that when that has happened and how beautiful that can be. And the women's retreat, I think is a really good example of that. The Tuesday morning Bible study is a really great example of that, Mm -hmm. of women in different walks of life, um, age range, experiences, um, circumstances, and how... Having impacts on each other. Having impact Touch of points learning on learning from one another, of growing with one another, and how desperately, um, I think the... I'll, I'll speak from, like, a mom with young kids perspective of how desperately the encouragement yeah, yeah, and the perspective sense. of women who have been there... Um, how meaningful that has been. And I've been able to have other conversations with other women that have said that same thing. And then that kind of that other side of, um, you have the wisdom, uh, is that what it is? The other side would be the, having the wisdom, yes, having experienced and, it and pouring in. And yeah. but the, at the same time, um, I don't want, I don't want to speak for an older generation cause I'm not there. So I don't have that perspective necessarily but i do believe that it ha- it's a mutual beneficial yeah, for relationship sure. yeah. and how um how how that has has been growing and just the women i think we have this fear and i, I don't want to generalize but i i feel like in some way we can generalize there's that fear of of judgment like we're not yeah. always kind like what the media portrays what we sense from other women yeah. is some fear and some oh, judgment that's and some real. concern. And so breaking that wall and realizing how much we want to walk alongside one another. I was talking to this lady in the lobby. Older lady had raised children and she has these daughters and she goes, well, my daughters, I'm too close. The way she said it was like, my daughters just roll my eyes at me when I bestow motherly advice on child rearing or something like that. But she's like, what's cool about having interactions with younger women in the church is they don't view me that way. So you would think it would be the other thing. You would think it, the mother would be, would have, but there's something about the chemistry of that she was alluding doesn't right. always translate well. But she has so much more of a chance to speak that into. I thought that was a really cool insight, and it speaks to the generation's bridge. You, you might not, like, she might not be getting the satisfaction that she wants in passing the baton to her daughter because well, there's an impediment there. But spiritually, she can have that in some other people in a church. That's a cool thought. That that's a really cool thought. And I think that's true. I mean, like when I think of my own parents when I was a teenager, I'd roll my eyes, but like a different youth yes. group leader or a coach could say that same stinking thing. Praying and being hopeful that there will be the youth group leader or there will be that person yes. that will speak into their life because I know there there might be that time where they just don't want to. No talk. doubt. And that's so we are surrounding them with other people options who can. So that I mean that that's kind of a, that's a really cool way to think about that. Yeah. Yeah. And the women's retreat, uniquely enough, is a way to like almost quantum leap mm-hmm. those relationships. Like you, you need to have some sort of time and grade with a person really to get into that stuff if you go on a woman's retreat you might have just accomplished that with somebody like that whatever that um trust and yeah it might take you like a year of sunday mornings to get to the same place with a with am i right Absolutely. where you like a retreat or like you got a weekend in and now you're like bffs so kenbrook if you've never been there it has comfortable 
hotel style lodging mm-hmm. with two double beds and a bath. Women 18 and over. Every year there's always a wide range of women and it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. February 17 through 19. So we arrive Friday evening after dinner time. And then we have Friday evening, all day Saturday. And then we, Sunday morning, we do have a session. So it's typically Sunday early afternoon. There is a sign up table out in the lobby. So there is a registration form that needs to be completed. And payment is due by January 29th, which is the last day to sign up as well. Encounter People Voice of the Body podcast. Enjoy some great conversations with people from your church family.